Hello everyone, welcome to the video, and today we're going to go over the Hector Crank boss fight in the physical disease department. A couple quick things, this isn't a guaranteed hitless video, but I am going to break down kind of how the fight goes. I will say that the fight usually goes easier for me, anyway, if I have some ranged weapons, which I don't really have here. Um, he he's, he hits, hits pretty hard, and when you get up close, he's got he's got some different moves kind of up close that you can avoid completely ranged weapons. Let's jump into it and see how we can do here. I'll, I'll just kind of explain things as we go. But overall, usually, he, once you learn his moves, he's quite simple compared to some of the later bosses. After him, actually, it gets quite a bit different. So he always does this move at the start. Comes at you like that with a melee. He'll spit out his guys. These guys will fire a little range things, which can be a problem. I usually, I usually try to focus them down. So as you can see here, if we keep our range, if we had ranged weapons, we'd be doing damage this whole time. Right, so he's going to spit these guys out. I'll try and let them do a thing. I might get hit here just because I'm standing vulnerable. But yeah, they're, they're not that bad to deal with. There, you can see the little melee, or little projectile they shoot. He also has a telegraph move that he does there where he'll dash at you. You can see he's mostly melee, so if you have range for this fight, you're, you're going to do quite well. But that's that's essentially his move set. You can when you get in close, I'm going to wipe these guys out. I might get hit, but we'll we'll try and see if he does his backhand attack on me. He has a he has a uh, claw backhand attack that he does if you're close range to him. Not doing it for me. Trying to bait him into it. There, he's got me there, but that's not the attack. He'll, anyway, he has a backhand attack that he sometimes does, and it hits hard. But we're going to get through this first phase here. Pretty straightforward, though. Stick to the outsides. That's what I like to do. Like I said, I like to, uh, usually I run ranged weapons anyway. You can dash through him as well. You don't always have to jump. I just do it for safety. Force of habit, I guess. All right, we'll, we'll finish this phase off with our special here, and then we'll move into the second. There's that backhand we were looking for. He just hit me with it. When you're kind of in his range, he comes at you with it. And I'm not usually there, so when, I, I get surprised by it occasionally. There. Now we have the pause. He goes to his second phase. Really, the main difference in the second phase is he he will do that you just saw his move there where he kind of jumped and did multiple melee attacks and he will do double he'll dash twice really fast like that those are the main things that get added into his second phase that move he's jumping backwards and he smacked me there he doesn't do that in his first phase there we stunned him a little damage into him why not Normally, this fight would already be over a long time ago. Um, I'm just kind of letting you guys see the fight. There we go. That's that's it. So he doesn't he doesn't have a very complicated move set, and he's not all over the place. The one that shoots him across the map with the with the uh, it has like the yellow beam. Very telegraphed. You can kind of time it. I find him to be a fairly easy boss overall compared to the ones that come up next. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I highly recommend using ranged on this boss, though. As you can see, his moves are kind of telegraphed to be a much uh, shorter range attack. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic.